And I just wanted to say something about sexual desire because I, I, I really believe that my, in my 12 empowerments, I want more sex was one of the big things I had probably on my, on my, on my list. And, and, and everything about my life was trying to have sex with anything that moved virtually. <laughs> and, uh, and all of the strategies in my life, try, you know, trying to be in film and music, was just, just trying to get into girls' pants. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> And, um, and, and I, sometimes I was successful and sometimes I wasn't. But what, ha what happened when I, you know, it, when I was actually having sex, I wanted it to last a long time. And I, 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 you know, and, and I was thinking about, you know, is this good enough? And um, will, will we still be going out together in a month? And is this the last time we're going to have sex? And then guess what? This is the most ridiculous thing. My friend told me that a great way to prolong sex is to think about something that's really complicated. <laughs> And so he recommended that, um, I, was, I was a cycle courier at the time, so he said, think about dismantling your de derailleur gears, <laughs> taking them apart and, and, uh, and then cleaning them and putting them back together again whilst you're having sex. And this, this, will, you know, this will be the solution to not being able to have sex and you know, be, not for it to, not lasting. I mean, th that, that isn't very erotic, is it? <laughs> thinking about fixing a bicycle while you're having sex. I mean, and um, so, so, you know, even, even the act of having sex, I, I just was not there. I was just, I was just thinking, thinking, describing, um, you know, and that's not to say, of course, I had some beautiful experiences, but most of the time it was, it was really quite strange and quite an effort. And now, since I've met this training, what's occurred is that ridiculous drive or belief system that I need to have sex all of the time has vanished. And one of the most powerful instructions I got um, from my trainer was just to uh, rely on um, open intelligence with all of the sexual desire, before, during, after, and start to recognize that when great sexual desire comes up, that great energy of sexual desire is my true nature. That is the nature of reality. Now we've just learned that in order for sexual desire to be successful, we need to have an orgasm. But when you leave that alone, when you just rely on short moments, what you start to see is basically everything is a perpetual orgasm. The whole universe is, is basically having sex with itself. <laughs> You know, like th th these flowers, everything, everything is like a climax. It just appears, it's amazing, and then it relaxes again, everything.